Hey, hey y'all and welcome back. I'm excited about today's video because I have an exciting product to share with you. Don't go anywhere and we'll get right to it. In case you're new, my name is Tiffany and I'm a mom to four kids. One of those being a newborn. He is a month old now and one of the things that I have been looking for is a wearable, hands-free breast pump that is affordable and gets the job done. And I've got one to share with you today. It is the Mom Cozy S12. It's the S12. And it's a wearable electric breast pump. I wanted to share this with you for a couple of reasons. Um, I know normally around here we do more like lifestyle vlog type stuff. And here I am sitting down. I, I do these videos though. And um, the reason I wanted to share this with you, though, is because this is going to be a game changer. I, fe I feel it. I feel like this is going to be a game changer. <laughs> pumping, especially with four kiddos, pumping in general is a task. And so I think it's going to be nice to not have to sit in one spot. You don't have any cords. You can be anywhere. I'm excited about the fact that I can take this in the car with me, take it when we go places. I just think it's going to work really well. I haven't tried it out yet. I'm going to try it out today and let you know in this video what I think about it. Here's what the pump actually looks like. It has the motor on top and it charges. It just pops right off. It charges with, is it going to focus? A C charger. All of these pieces come apart really easily for washing. It does only come with one flange size. It's a 24 millimeter, but you can order more on the website. You've got your other little flange, backflow protector, and all these pieces snap right together. This goes right into this cup, and there's some markings on the inside to show you when you've got it in the right spot. There's a little notch right here that you're going to line up. Just make sure it's sealed all the way around. And then your motor fits in snug right on top. Now, I don't know that I mentioned price. Uh, it is affordable. I know I mentioned that. A lot of the wearable hands-free breast pumps are hundreds of dollars. And this one right here is $75. There'll be a link down in the description box to the website so that you can go check it out. It is just one pump, but that works well for me. Obviously, you could buy two. But what I normally do is I feed baby boy on one side and pump the other side. And so that's going to work out really, really well, I think. And obviously, if I needed to pump both sides, I could pump one, pour it into a bottle or a bag, and then do the other side. No problem. So here's your power button, and let me just go back down to one. Okay, so you have nine different suction levels on this pump, and you have your plus and minus buttons right here to adjust those. There's also two modes. There's a mode that is just a constant suction. And it saves your preferences on both of those. And then there is a mode that is little suctions and then a big gulp. I don't know if you could hear it. So you can adjust this and use whatever works best for you. It also has a timer, so it's going to keep up with how long you've been pumping and your power button. Now, I've already got this washed, sterilized, ready to go. I got a baby that I can hear waking up. I'm going to feed him and pump and let you know how it works for me. Let you know if I get the same kind of output as I do with my other pumps. Um, let me let me say, I washed and sterilized this this morning. And I always sterilize all of my new pump parts, bottles, all of those things in boiling water. So that's what I did. But I, you need to be very careful because I noticed that this plastic started to melt in a couple of spots, so that's just something that you want to be aware of. I did go back and look at the um, user manual, and it said to not use water over 100 degrees. So that's something you just kind of want to keep in mind when it comes to sterilizing. Maybe even look into 
uh, cold process sterilizing. I don't know, whatever works for you. Now, I don't always sterilize my things after every use, not even after every several uses, mostly just when it's new out of the box. So, I don't think this is going to mess with the function of it at all. I just wish I hadn't done that. All right, let me go get this little one, try this thing out, and then I'll come back and let you know how it worked for me. I'm back real quick. I've got my hair pulled up because otherwise baby boy will pull it while I'm feeding him. But I also wanted to mention real quick that it also comes with the user manual, charging cord, and a bra extension. So for your, for your nursing bra, if you need an extender to kind of make it fit a little bit better inside your bra, you can use that and have a little extra room. All right, now I'm gonna go feed baby boy and try this thing out. Baby boy's laying right there making all kinds of noises, so you'll probably hear him, but I wanted to go ahead and show you. This is the milk that I collected while I was feeding him, so this is from the other side, and it does have markings on here to tell you the ounces. Um, they're a little bit difficult to see, but it says I've popped right at, I'll try to get it level, right at four ounces. I'm gonna pour this in a bottle and see how those measurements line up to what my bottles say. And I'll leave it on the screen and let you know if it was accurate. It looks like there are also markings so that if you're laying it this way, yeah, you can measure it either way it's laying. So if you've taken all this apart and you have it laying down, you can look at it and measure it from either direction. I like that. Overall, this thing was very effective. Um, it worked about as quickly as my double electric breast pump that I normally use. I did love that it had this little screen with a timer on top because all you had to do was look down. You could see how long you've been feeding or pumping. You could change the mode and the suction level really easily right here on top while you're using it. Y'all, I think this is going to be a game changer. I think I was right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go get this milk poured up and... Go play with my baby for a little while and get him happy. Thank y'all for watching. I hope you found this helpful. I hope this information was helpful to you. If it was, give this video a thumbs up to see more content, mommy, family, lifestyle related. Make sure you subscribe before you leave. We love you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for hanging out with us for a little while. Bye y'all. He's saying bye too. Can't you hear it? Hey y'all, editing Tiffany, popping in here real quick. I just wanted to add a few more things that I didn't point out. Now that I've used it a few times, there are a few more things that I just wanted to mention. One of those being how comfortable this pump is. It, I, I guess it's the silicone flange. I don't know. Something about it is just so comfortable and the ease of use is incredible. I am loving this thing. It is holding a pretty good charge. It charges pretty quick. I'm so happy with it. And I just wanted to add those few things in there now that I've used it a few times and just, you know, kind of had time to think about how comfortable it really was to use and wanted to share that with you. All right. See you next time. Bye, y'all. Mm -hmm.